What's good, greatness gang? Welcome back to another reaction. And today I have a very special reaction from not one artist, but two. Yes, the two artists we're going to be reacting to is Dido and Eminem. And if you're, if you've been living under a rock, you would know, you wouldn't know that Dido and Eminem have a very special relationship because of one of Eminem's biggest songs, Stan. And uh, I recently found out that that was actually a sample from one of Dido's songs, Thank You. So I was like, hmm, I need to check that song out with the Greatness Game community. But first, we're going to react to a clip of Dido talking about working with Eminem. Then we're going di to dive into Dido's Thank You and then Eminem's Stan. <clears throat> I've heard Stan uh, many of times, but... I didn't never sit through and actually watch the entire video because I was uh, younger when that video was out. So I never really cared to actually watch the full video, but I'm a big Eminem fan. So I was like, hey, let me actually sit down and dissect this video now that I'm an adult and <clears throat> I can understand it more. I know uh, we living in a time where that word stand is actually used in today's music world people talk about staying culture and this that and the third but uh some people like even if you showing genuine support they would call you a stand which is uh weird but uh we're gonna just get into this video I, I got a call and closely followed by a CD with um, sent to me. I was in New York at the time with with this, you know. They said, "Oh, Eminem sampled the song," and I'm thinking, "Ah, yeah, wonder what's happening." You know, I mean, because I was actually a huge Eminem fan, but I was sort of like, "Ah, I wonder what he's done," you know. <laughs> and um, and we put it on. I was with a couple of friends of mine who were visiting, and we put it on in the hotel room and. I was listening to the lyrics. I was just like, this is amazing. I mean, I, I just think his lyrics on that song are absolutely brilliant. You know, he's, to me, the ultimate storyteller, you know. And um, and I was just like, this is great. And um, and then I, I, you know, didn't think too much more about it. And we just sort of got on with, with the tour. And then just suddenly everything completely exploded. It was definitely quite a leap and quite a shock but I think what was great and and why it didn't fully register was because I was just fully into a tour at that point so you don't really notice too much of what's going on you know I'd sort of um and so I was just getting on with that and but definitely it was like whoa what just happened I mean and and, and I was not prepared for it in any way whatsoever and and, and actually would ne would never be and the thing about that is you probably like, wow, my music got sampled. Then you're like, wow, my music got sampled by one of the biggest rappers currently. Looking back at it now, one of the biggest rappers of all time. Then you're also like, wow, my music got sampled and this is one of the biggest, not just rap songs, but one of the biggest songs of all time. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, let's check out Dido, thank you. Okay, so he got that main guitar part from it. And drums too. This is such a nice melody. Her voice is beautiful. I drank too much last night, got bills to pay. It's a nice fat bass line. I missed the bus and they'll be hell today. I'm late for work again. Uh oh. But if I'm there, they'll all imply that I might not last the day. And then you call me, and it's not so bad. It's not so bad. Oh, 
hold on. I'm I'm seeing in the lyrics I'm seeing a similarity already. Things are going bad in her world, but I'm assuming she has a lover that's giving her that even though everything is going bad around me, I'm still I still got that hope and you still brighten up my day. <clears throat> I still look forward to being in your presence, <clears throat> etc. And on the Eminem Stan song, looking back at the lyrics that I can remember, like the the guy who was writing the letter to Eminem had some rocky stuff going around, but he was looking forward to Eminem, but kind of in an addiction way. So it's somewhat. I see. I can. I can see where Eminem started to write that perspective from. But yeah. She got them vocals. in your house right in front of you and you still having the best day of your life. Alright, that was Dido. Thank you. That was a very good song. I really, really need to check out more of her music. Let me know in the comments what other Dido songs I need to check out ASAP. Okay, Eminem, Stan. Long version featuring Dido. Let's go. Gosh, I haven't seen this in forever. Eminem is easily in the top five rappers of all time. Maybe even top three than me. Stanley. Stanley, open the door. Let me in. Stanley, open the door. Open the door. Let me in. What? Stanley, what are you doing to yourself? What the hell? You don't like it? Stanley? You like it? Stanley! Like it? Don't call me Stan that, okay? Don't call me that. Why do you think that? you're taking this too far? But isn't your name Stanley? His hair the same color as yours now. It's the fan mail. Listening to the production of Eminem's version, he added a lay another layer of drums and a different bass line, I guess, to give it more of a hip hop feel. But 
even if he just rapped over the sampled the loop of the original guitar and bass by itself <clears throat> it still would have sounded pretty fine in my opinion oh wow Dear Slim, I wrote you, but you still ain't calling. I left myself, my pager, and my home phone at the bottom. I sent two letters back in autumn. You must not have got them. There probably was a problem at the post office or something. Sometimes I scribble the dresses too sloppy when I jot them. But anyways, what's been up, man? How's your daughter? My girlfriend's pregnant too. I'm about to. I feel like the two people currently in the music industry that remind me of Eminem and have that Eminem influence, influence is uh, Kendrick Lamar and uh, Ren. Ren reminds me a lot of uh, Eminem as far as his uh, storytelling. Be a father. If I have a daughter, guess what I'm gonna call her? I'm gonna name her Bonnie. I read about your uncle Ronnie too, I'm sorry. I had a friend for himself over some who didn't want him. I know you probably hear this every day, but I'm your biggest- Nicki Minaj too, when she changes her voices. I got a room full of your posters and your rap very animated. You did with rockets too, that was bad. Anyways, I hope you get this man. Hit me back, just a chat. Truly yours, your biggest fan. This is Stan. Wait, is the woman Dido? Is the pregnant woman that's Dido? Dear Slim, you still ain't called a row. I hope you have a chance. I ain't mad. I just think it's tough you don't answer fans. If you didn't want to talk to me outside the concert, you didn't have to. You could have signed an autograph for Matthew. That's my little brother, man. He's only six years old. We waited in the blistering cold for you for four hours and you just said no. That's pretty, man. You like his an idol. He wants to be just like you, man. He likes you more than I do. I ain't that mad, though. I just don't like being lied to. Remember when we met in Denver? You said if I write you, you would write back. See, I'm just like you in a way. I never knew my father neither. He used to always cheat on my mom and beat her. I can relate to what you're saying in your songs. So when I have a day, I drift away and put them on. Cause I don't really got help. So that helps when I'm depressed. I even got a tattoo with your name across the chest. Sometimes I even myself to see how much it it's like adrenaline. The pain is such a sudden rush for me. See, everything you say is real. And I respect you cause you tell it. My girlfriend's jealous cause I talk about you 24-7. But she don't know you like I know you slim. No one does. She don't know what it was like for people like us growing up. You gotta call me man i'll be the biggest fan you'll ever lose sincerely yours stan p.s we should be together too wow eminem should have turned this into a film even though this is kind of like a mini film, but a full film. Dear mister, I'm too good to call and write my fans. This will be the last package I ever send your ass. It's been six months and still no word. I don't deserve it. I know you got my last two letters. I wrote the addresses on them perfect. So this is my cassette I'm sending you. I hope you hear it. I'm in a car right now. I'm doing 90 on the freeway. Hey Slim, I just can fit the jam in the drive. You know the song by Bill Collins in the air of the night about that guy who could have saved that other guy from drowning but didn't? Then Bill saw it all, then at a show he found him? That's kind of how this is. You could have rescued me from drowning, now it's too late. I'm on a thousand, now I'm drowsy. And all I wanted was a lousy letter of a call. I hope you know I ripped all of your pictures off the wall. I love you, Slim. We could have been together. Think about it. You ruined it now. I hope you can't sleep and you dream about it. And when you dream, I hope you can't sleep and you scream about it. I hope your conscience eats at you when you can't breathe without me. See, Slim? I always loved when Eminem did that, like, vocally. When he started to change his tone and get animated. It's like he's in the booth putting on a theatrical performance. And you can, like, really hear him project that type of energy out and make you feel the song even more, especially on uh, these storytelling type of records that he had. I'm trying to talk. Hey Slim, that's my girlfriend. But I 
That's what, that's what reminds me of uh, Ren. Cause if she's suffering more, and this so too. Well, gotta go. I'm almost at the bridge now. Oh, I forgot. How am I supposed to send it down? That's sad, man. Your girlfriend's pregnant now. How far along is she? Look, I'm really flattered you would call your daughter that. And here's an autograph for your brother. I wrote it on the starter cap. I'm sorry I didn't see you with the show. I must have missed you. Don't think I did that intentionally just to diss you. But what's the you said about you like to hit your wrist too? I say that shit just clown is all. Come on, how the f is you? You got some issues, Dan. I think you need some counseling to help your ass from bouncing off the walls when you get down some. And what's the I like how he added the perspective of the artist right into the fan. I really think you and your girlfriend need each other, but maybe you just need basically let the fan know that hey, I'm human as well. I just hope you read Don't take it personal. Before you hurt yourself, I think that you'll be doing just fine if you relax a little. I'm glad I inspire you as fan. Why are you so mad? Try to understand that I do want you as a fan. I just don't want you to do some crazy. I seen this one on the news a couple weeks ago that made me sick. Some dude was drunk and drove his car over a bridge. And then the car they found a tape, but they didn't say who it was too. Come to think about it, his name was, it was you. Damn. Wow. I want to know how long it took uh, Eminem to write that. That that needs to be a movie. But that was a perfect flip of a sample, a song, a sample, turn it into something even more epic. Dido's verse, uh, Dido on the chorus, really gives the song that that final emotional piece, that nice emotional element to really take this song to the next level. Uh, the video perfectly fits the lyrics this was great let me know what Eminem songs I need to react to next let me know what Dido songs I need to react to next subscribe to the channel love you guys